Number one. This is a spelling round. Your word is trek. Trek. T R E K. Trek. That is correct. Number two. Waltz. Could you please put that in a sentence? Yes. Uh, when the band started playing a waltz, we got, all got up to dance. Waltz. W A L. T Z. That is correct. Number three. Dairy. Definition, please. Oh, I'm I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Diary. Uh, definition, please. Yes, it's a book intended for a daily record of personal activities or reflections. Diary. D. I A R Y diary. That is correct. Four. This word has a homonym. The word is croon. Croon is a verb. May I have a definition, please? Yes. I mean, it means to sing in a half voice, especially into a closely held microphone. May I have it in a sentence, please? Yes. Singers who croon to their audience are very popular in nightclubs. Croon. C-R-O-O-N. Croon. Correct. Number five. Tornado. Tornado, T-O-R-N-A-D-O, -O, tornado. Correct. Number six. Daily. Daily, D-A-I-L-Y, daily. Correct. Number seven. Monsoon. Monsoon. M O N S O O N. Monsoon. Correct. Number eight. Loiter. Loiter. B O Y D E R. Loiter. I need to repronounce the word. I think you heard it incorrectly. Your word is loiter. May I have it the definition, please? Yes. To remain in or near a place in an idle or apparently idle manner. Sentence. To hang around aimlessly or as if aimlessly. May I please have it in a sentence? Yes. Individuals who loiter in the mall <coughs> are often asked to leave. L-O-I-T-E-R, loiter. Correct. Number nine. Muskrat. Muskrat. M U S K R A T. That is correct. Your word is nosiest. Definition, please. Yes. Uh, this word consists of uh, originally English elements. It means the most prying or inquisitive. Nosiest. N O S. I S T. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The correct spelling is. N O S I E S T. Number eleven. Mammoth. Mammoth. M A M M O T H. Mammoth. That is correct. 
Number 12. Womanly. May you repeat that? Womanly. May you put that in a sentence? Yes. Uh, Mona's womanly, capable attitude makes her seem more mature than her age. Womanly. W O M A N L Y. Correct. 13. Aspen. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The skier lost control and crashed into an aspen. Aspen. A S P E N. Aspen. Correct. Number 14. Dreary. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. The dreary accountant decided that it was time to take an extended vacation. Can you tell me the definition? Yes. It means feeling, displaying, or reflecting a settled mood of listlessness or discouragement. Dreary. Dreary. D-R-A-W-R-Y. That's incorrect. The spelling is D R E A R Y. Number 15. Ballerina. B Ballerina. B A L E R I E N A. Ballerina. That's incorrect. The spelling is B A L L E R I N A. Number 16. Capricorn. Capricorn. C A P R I C O R N. Capricorn. That's correct. 17. Fiend. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, David is a golf fiend whose dream is to win a professional golf tournament one day. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. It is a person excessively devoted to or captivated by a pursuit, a practice, or an object of study, a fanatic. Fiend. F-E-A-N-E-D. That is incorrect. Fiend. F-I-E-N-D. I'm sorry, F-I-E-N-D. Eighteen. Nostril. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, uh, Sandy has a cold and can only breathe through one nostril. Nostril. N-O-S-T-R-I-L. Nostril. Correct. 19. Caboose. Caboose. C-A-B-O-O-S-E. Caboose. Correct. 20. Dearth. Can you give me the definition? Yes. Uh, a dearth means a deficiency or inadequate supply of something uh, or of some quality as courage. So a deficiency or a shortage is a dearth. May I have a sentence? Yes. The general realized that his army was suffering from a dearth of self-confidence. Dearth, D-U-R-T-H, dearth. 
That's incorrect. Dearth, D-E-A-R-T-H. Number 21. This word has a homonym. The word is confidence. I'm going to provide the part of speech and definition. Uh, this word is a noun. It is, means a relation or state of trust between persons who share or impart secrets or intimate or intimate matters. Confidence. C O N F I D E N C E. Correct. Twenty-two. Sultan. Sultan. S U L T A N. Sultan. Correct. Number 23, falsetto. Can you repeat that? Yes, falsetto. Can I have it in a sentence? A sentence, yes. A dad dropped a mop over his head and sang, Mary had a little lamb in falsetto. Falsetto, F O U. L S E T T O. That's incorrect. The spelling is F A L S E T T O. Twenty four. Gradient. Can you repeat that again? Yes. Uh, he said repeat it in a, but she said repeat it in a sentence. Oh, gradient. Radiant. R A D I A N T. Radiant. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's G R A D I E N T. So, what just happened? Um, I think that I made a mistake and misheard you and that you said the, the incorrect word back to me and you said radiant, which you spelled correctly but wasn't the word. And the word was gradient with a G and I simply made a mistake and misheard. So what we're going to do in the interest of fairness to you and everyone else is just give you another word and start again. So deep breath, and you guys, uh, for, for you who are competing, uh, say the word back, make sure that you've got the right word, say it really clearly and loudly, and we're going to try and get this right. Okay, so your word now is mathematics. Mathematics, M-A-T-H-E-M-A-T-I-C-S, mathematics. That is correct. Number 25. Harmonica. Harmonica, H-A-R-M-O-N-I-C-A, -A. harmonica. Correct. Number 27. Oh, 26. My. Stoic. S T O I C. Stoic. That is correct. Number 20. 
seven. Furlong. May I put that in a sentence? Yes. Uh, the horse's name was Katie's, Katie's Delight and Going for Gold. I'm gonna start again. The horses named Katie's Delight and Going for Gold were neck and neck through the entire last furlong of the race. Furlong, F-U-R-L-O-N-G, furlong. Correct. Twenty-eight. Hypothesis. Can you put in a sentence? Yes. Gail's hypothesis about the origin of the sand in her backyard proved to be correct. Can I have the definition? Yes. A hypothesis is a proposition tentative, tentatively assumed in order to draw out its logical or empirical consequences, and so to test its accord with facts that are known or may be determined. Hypothesis, H-I-P-O-U-C-A-S. Okay, uh, that's incorrect. Hypothesis, H-Y-P-O-T-H-E-S-I-S. -S. Number 29. Ambulance. Ambulance, A-M-B-U-L-A-N-C-E, ambulance. That is correct. This concludes round one. <laughs> Contraband. Can you repeat the word? Contraband. Can I get a definition? Yes. Goods are merchandise the importation, exportation, or sometimes possession of, which is forbidden. Can you repeat the word? Contraband. Contraband. C-O-N-T-R-I-B-A-N-D. Contraband. That's incorrect. It's C-O-N-T-R-A-B-A-N-D. Number two, seersucker. Could you please repeat the word? Seersucker. Can I have a definition? Yes. A durable, plain woven fabric, usually of cotton or rayon, having stripes alternately flat and puckered. Could you put that in a sentence, please? Yes. Ben owns two shirts made of seersucker. Can I please have the definition? Okay. A durable, plain woven fabric, usually of cotton or rayon, having stripes alternately flat and puckered. S E R E S U C K E R. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's mm -hmm. S E E R S U C K E R. Mm. Threshold. Say it again, please. Threshold. Definition. Yes, it's a place or point of entering or beginning. Sentence. Now at the threshold of adulthood, James is wondering what to do with his life. Can you say it again, please? 
the word? Mm -hmm. Threshold. Threshold. T H R E S H O L D. Correct. Newton. May you repeat the word, please? Newton. May I have a definition? Yes. The unit of force in the meter kilogram second system of physical units that is of such size that under its influence, a body whose mass is one kilogram would experience an acceleration of one meter per second per second. It is from an English name. May you repeat the word one more time, please? Newton. Newton. N E W T O N. Newton. Correct. Hurricane. Hurricane. H U R R I C A N E. Hurricane. Correct. Next. This word has a near homonym. The word is protein. The word is a noun. The definition is any of a large class of naturally occurring extremely complex combinations of amino acids that are essential constituents of all living cells and also of the diet of animals. Protein. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. The dietitian was concerned about, about the amount of protein in Jenny's daily diet. Protein. P R O T E I N, protein. Correct. Polymer. Can you repeat it? Polymer. Polymer? Polymer. Yeah. Polymer. P O L Y M E R. Polymer. Correct. Fathom. Fathom. F A T H U M. Fathom. That's incorrect. F A T H O M. Adios. Adios. A D I O S. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is hector. The part of speech is a verb. It is a Greek literary name. The definition, it means to harass, to intimidate, to bully or domineer over by bluster, scolding, or personal pressure. Hector. Will you put it in a sentence? Yes. Some seniors hector the little kids on the first day of school. May you repeat the word again? Hector. Hector. H-E-C-T-O-R. That is correct. Next. Algebra. Algebra. A L G E B R A. Algebra. That's correct. Next. Sumo. 
Sumo. S U M O Sumo. Correct. Carnivore. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. The hyena is a carnivore that usually eats animals found dead. Carnivore. C A R N I V O R E. Carnivore. Correct. Okay, and this is number 18, and your number and your word is giraffe. Giraffe. G I R A F F E. Giraffe. Correct. 19. Anchovy. Can you please repeat the word? Anchovy. The definition, please? Yes. Uh, any number of small, herring-like fishes, a common Mediterranean form esteemed for its rich and peculiar flavor. Can you please use that in a sentence? Yes. Joshua removed all the anchovies from his, piece, from his slice of pizza. Anchovy. Anchovy. A N C H O V E anchovy. That's incorrect. A N C H O V Y. Twenty one. <coughs> Crochet. Crochet. C R O C H E T. Crochet? Crochet, that's correct. Hosta. Can you please repeat the word? Hosta. Hosta. H O S T A. Hosta. Correct. 24. <coughs> Alamo. Can you please repeat the word? Alamo. Can you please give me the definition? Yes. Uh, this word is from the Spanish. Okay. Uh, a tree of the genus Populus, especially an aspen tree, is an Alamo. Alamo, A-L-A-M-O, Alamo. That is correct. Number 25. Hyphen. Hyphen, H-Y-P-H-O-N, hyphen. That's incorrect, H-Y-P-H-E-N. 26. Petunia. Petunia. P E T U N I A. Petunia. That's correct. 27. Antibiotic. Can you put that in the sentence, please? Yes. Uh, Sam's doctor gave him an antibiotic for his sinus infection. Antibiotic. A-N-T-I-B-I-O-T-I-C. Antibiotic. That's correct. 29. Chronic. Chronic. C. H R O N I C, chronic. That's correct. That completes round two. Emperor. Definition, please. 
Yes, the sovereign or supreme monarch. Um, sentence. Yes, uh, George the Fifth. Uh, I'm sorry, George the Sixth was the last British king to be called the Emperor of India. Repeat the word, please. Emperor. <laughs> okay, so E M P E R. O R? Correct. Four. Oracle. May you repeat the word, please? Yes, oracle. Oops. This word has a near homonym. Uh, the part of speech is a noun, and it is a person of great authority or wisdom whose opinions or judgments are regarded with great respect. Oracle. O. R A C L E. Or Correct. Number five. Zodiac. May you repeat the word? Yes. Zodiac. May you use it in a sentence? Yes. Of all the symbols of the zodiac, the one for Aquarius is Ginger's favorite. Zodiac, Z-O-D-I-A-C, Zodiac. That is correct. Six, prosthetic. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. John had to learn to walk again with a prosthetic right foot after losing his in an accident. Prosthetic. P-R-O-S-T-H-E-T-I-C. That is correct. Seven. Nonviolent. Can you repeat it? Nonviolent. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Historical figures such as Gandhi and Martin Luther King encouraged the use of nonviolent resistance to bring about change. Nonviolent. N O N V I O L E N T. That is correct. <coughs> Nine. Artillery. Artillery. A R T I L A R Y. That's incorrect. A R T I L L E R Y. Eleven. Antidote. Antidote. A N T I D O T E. Antidote. That is correct. Twelve. Servitude. May you repeat the word? Servitude. Servitude. S E R V I T U D E. That is correct. Number 13. Derelict. Can you repeat the word, please? Derelict. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Um, while out for a hike, Theo and Gabby discovered a derelict cabin in an overgrown clearing. Are there any alternate pronunciations? There are no alternate pronunciations. Derelict. D-A-R-E-L-I-C-H-T. Derelict. That's incorrect. D-E-R-E. -E 
L-I-C-T. Number 16. Charismatic. Charismatic. C-H-A-R-I-S-M-A-T-I-C. Charismatic. That is correct. Number 18. This word has a near homonym. The word is centuries. The Man. word's part of speech is a noun. It means soldiers standing guard. Centuries. S E N T R I E S. Centuries. That is correct. Number 21. Tremendous. Tremendous. T R E M E N D O U S. That is correct. 22. Venerable. Can you please repeat the word? Venerable. Can, can you use it in the sentence? Yes. The venerable teacher's retirement saddened students who had hoped to attend her classes. Can you please repeat the word? Venerable. May I have the language of origin? Yes, it's from the Latin. May you please repeat the word? Venerable. V Venerable. V-I-N-E-R-A-B-L-E. Venerable. That's incorrect. It's V-E-N-E-R-A-B-L-E. Twenty-four. Antiquated. Antiquated. A N T I Q U A T E D. Antiquated. That is correct. Twenty six. Resonate. To repeat the word. Resonate. Resonate. R E R E S E N A T E. That's incorrect. It's R E S O N A T E. Twenty-seven. Pearlescent. May you put that in the sentence, please? Yes. Crystal found a pearlescent shell on the beach. Pearlescent. P E A R L E S C E N T. Pearlescent. That is correct. 29. Stratagems. Stratagems. S T R A G E M S. Stratagems. That's incorrect. S T R A T A G E M S. That ends round three. I will read aloud the word the vocabulary question and both options A and B, but I will not indicate which option is correct. Spellers may ask for the question and or answers uh, options to be repeated. Spellers may also request the spelling of the word. 
A speller may choose the question by providing the letter associated with the chosen answer, the chosen answer, or both the letter and the chosen answer. For example, if the speller is, answered the is offered the question, what is porridge made from, you can say A, fur, or B, grain. Each of the following methods is correct. You may say B, or you may say B, grain. Uh, vocabulary round does count, and if you get out of this round, you're out for the remainder of the B. It counts just like a spelling round. Number three. Ravine. What is a ravine? A, a glossy black bird, or B, a small valley with steep sides? B. That is correct. Number four, austere. Which of these were, would most likely be described as austere? A, an empty white room, or B, a prediction of good luck? A, that is correct. Number five, mystic. A mystic must be very a, memorable, or B, spiritual? B, that's correct. Number six, varsity. Varsity is a type of A, economic concept, B, sports team. A, that's incorrect. Number seven? Seven. Avian. Which of the following would be described as avian? A, a pigeon, or B, a rat? You said avian? Avian. A pigeon? That is correct. Number 11. Feckless. Someone described as feckless, A, demonstrates bravery, B, is lazy and impractical. A. That is incorrect. Implacable. Someone described as implacable can't be A, replaced, or B, calmed. May you put it in a sentence? I can't do that for a vocabulary. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What was, the, what was the word again? Okay, implacable. Someone described as implacable can't be A, replaced, or B, calmed. A. That's incorrect. Number 16. Engineering. Engineering is used to A, design structures and machines, B, document artifacts of ancient life. A. That is correct. Number 18. Rendition. A rendition is most like A, an interpretation, or B, an institution. Can you say the word again? Rendition. May I have the choices again? Yes. A rendition is most like A, an interpretation, B, an institution. A. That is correct. Number 21. Scrumptuously. Something that is done scrumptuously is done in what manner? A, nonsensically, 
or B, delightfully? B. That is correct. Twenty-four. Enchantment. Enchantment is the act of A, intensifying, B, bewitching. Can you repeat the choices? Mm -hmm. A, intensifying, B, bewitching. B? That's correct. Mm -hmm. 27. Opinionated. Someone described as opinionated, A, sticks stubbornly to a belief, or B, volunteers selflessly. A. That is correct. That ends round four. <laughs> that ends vocabulary, and we go back to another spelling round. Cavity. Definition, please. Yes. A space hollowed out by decay. Using a sentence? Yes. Sam was dismayed to learn he had a small cavity in one of his molars. Um, repeat the word. Cavity. C-A-V-I-T-Y. That is correct. Number four, locomotive. May you repeat the word? Locomotive. Locomotive. L-O-C-O-M-O-T-I-V-E. That is correct. Number five. I know. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is precedent. May, no. may you repeat yeah. the word? Hold on. Um, a precedent is something that is done or said that may serve as an example or rule to authorize or justify a subsequent act. May you use it in a sentence? Yes. As far as Sasha knew, the decision to allow a girl to play on the football team was without a precedent. May you say it in a sentence again? Yes. As far as Sasha knew, the decision to allow a girl to play on the football team was without precedent. P. R. E. S. I. D. E. N. T. That's incorrect. P. R. E. C. E. D. E. N. T. Precedent. Number seven. Allegedly. Allegedly. A L L E G E D L Y. Allegedly. That's correct. 16. Casino. Casino. C A S I N O. Casino. That's correct. Number 18. Durability. May you repeat the word? Durability. Durability. D U R A B 
I L I T Y durability. That's correct. <coughs> 21. Lingo. May you repeat the word? Oh, this word has a homonym. The word is lingo. The part of speech is noun. It's the special vocabulary of a particular field or interest. May you repeat the word, please? Lingo. Lingo. L-I-N-G-O. Correct. 24. Meteoric. Can you please repeat the word? Meteoric. Can I have the meaning, please? Yes. Resembling in brilliance, rapid, rapidity, or short duration, a streak of light in the night sky produced by the passage through the Earth's atmosphere of small particles of solid matter, meteoric. 25. Can you please put it in a sentence? Yes. The band's meteoric rise to fame was due to one catchy hit song. Can you please repeat the word? Meteoric. Can you please repeat the word? Meteoric. Meteoric. M E D I O R I C. Meteoric. That's incorrect. M E T E O R I C. 27. Belittle. May you put that in a sentence, please? Yes. Janet wanted to, was careful not to belittle her friend's work because she wanted to encourage him to keep trying. Belittle. B E L I T T L E. Belittle. That is correct. That ends round five. <clears throat> Touted. Say the word again. Touted. Definition? Yes. Uh, boldly proclaimed, overly publicized. Using a sentence? Yes. Paris is often touted as the world's most fashionable city. Um, say the word again. Touted. T. A-L-T-E-D. That's incorrect. T-O-U-T-E-D. Number four. Continental. Continental. May you repeat the word, please? Continental. Continental. May I have a definition? <clears throat> yes. Being the part... <clears throat> Okay, uh, being the part of the United States comprising the lower 48 states. Continental, C-O-N-T-I-N-E-N-T-A-L, continental. That is correct. Number seven. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is sepia. This is originally from the Greek. It's a noun. It means a pigment of rich brown color containing melanin prepared for the ink of various cuttlefishes and used in watercolor painting and in ink. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Candace used sepia to stain her black and white photograph to make it look old-fashioned. Sepia. S-E-P-I-A. 
P I A C P. That is correct. 16. Courtliness. Courtliness. C O U R T L I N E S S. Courtliness. That is correct. 18. Reconstruction. Reconstruction. R E C O N S T R U C T I O N. Reconstruction. That's correct. Number 21. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is epileptic, it's from the French. It means related to, affected with, or having the characteristics of a chronic nerve disorder of humans and other animals that involve changes in the state of consciousness and of motion. Epileptic. E L. No. E L. E P I L E P T I C. Okay, Janice. Okay. You, you've, you did spell it correctly at the end, but because you started incorrectly, you um, have to sit down. Um, e P I L. E P T I C epilept twenty seven Arabian. May you repeat the word? Arabian. May you put it in the sentence? Yes. Because of its versatility, the the Arabian horse is one of the most popular breeds in the world. Arabian. A R a, B, I, A, N, Arabian. That's correct. That concludes the sixth round. We're now beginning. To yeah. Okay, and we go back to vocabulary. Tenacious. If you do something tenaciously, you do it with great A, Determination, B, fear. A. Correct. Number seven, avalanche. An avalanche is A, either of two curved segments encroaching on a heraldic field, one from each side, or B, a large mass of snow, ice, dirt, rock, or other material sliding swiftly down a mountainside. B. That is correct. 15. 16. Whoops. Mahogany. Mahogany is a type of A, swine, B, wood. B. That is correct. 18. This word has a homonym, so I'm going to say it and spell it aloud. Allegiance. A-L-L-E-G-I-A-N-C-E. What is allegiance? A, a devotion or loyalty, especially to a person, a group, or a cause. Or B, a genuine or assumed feeling of superiority over other people. A. That is correct. 27. Pilgrimages. Pilgrimages are types of A, photographs printed on archival quality paper, or B, trips taken to places of historic or sentimental interest. B. That is correct. That ends that round. Quandary. May I repeat the word? Quandary. Qu 
quandary. May I have a definition? Yes. A state of perplexity or doubt. A dilemma. May I have its um, origin, please? Yes. It is of unknown origin. May I have it in the sentence, please? Yes. Taylor's advice left Sarah in more of a quandary than she was in before she sought his help. Quandary. Q U A N D A R Y. Quandary. That is correct. Number seven. Assailant. Assailant. A S S A I L A N T. Correct. Sixteen. Undulating. Undulating. U N D U L A T I N G. Undulating. Undulating. That's correct. Eighteen. Aperture. May you repeat the word? Aperture. Aperture. A P E R T U R E. Aperture. That is correct. That completes. Oh, no, sorry. 27. Functionary. May I put that in a sentence, please? Yes. Dan's father is a high-level functionary of the United States Department of State. Functionary. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y. Functionary. That is correct. That completes round eight. You guys are awesome. Hypotenuse. This word, this word could be confused with a similar word, hypotenuse. It is the side of a right angle triangle that is opposite the right angle. May you repeat the word one more time? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. H-Y-P-O-T-E-N-U-S-E. -E. Hypotenuse. That is correct. Number seven, exquisite. Exquisite. Can uh, you tell me a definition? Yes. It's marked by flawless crafts craftsmanship or by beautiful, delicate execution. Exquisite. E X Q U I S I T E. That's exquisite. correct. Number 16. Tremulous. Can I have it in a sentence, please? Yes. Uh, Susan's tremulous voice betrayed how nervous she was. Tremulous. T R E M U L O U S. Tremulous. That is correct. Tremulous. Number 18. Holocaust. Holocaust. H O L O C A U S T. Holocaust. That is correct. Number 27. Inadvertent. May you put that in a sentence, please? Yes. Uh, Elizabeth swore up and down that the well timed sneeze that knocked down her cousin's house of cards was totally inadvertent. Inadvertent. I. N A D V E R T E N T. Inadvertent. That is correct. That's the end of round nine. <laughs> Einstein. 
Einstein. May I have a definition, please? Yes. Uh, it is, means, uh, it is from a German name, and it means a mathematical genius. Einstein. E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N. -E that is correct. Number seven. Nuisance. Can you uh, repeat it? Nuisance. Nuisance. N E U S E N C E. Nuisance. That's incorrect. It's N U I S A N C E. Number 16. Vagabonds. Vagabonds. V A G A. B O N D S vagabonds. That's correct. Eighteen. <coughs> this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is machete. It is from Spanish, and it is a large, heavy knife, usually made with a blade, often two or three feet in length. Machete. Machete, M-A-C-H-E-T-E. -E. That is correct. <coughs> tetanus. May you repeat the word, please? Tetanus. May I have it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, puncture wounds are dangerous because they allow the bacteria that causes tetanus to enter the body. So you frequently have to get a tetanus shot. Tetanus, T-E-T-N-I-S, tetanus. That is incorrect. T-E-T-A-N-U-S. That is the end of that round. <laughs> Remonstrance. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is Remonstrance. This is uh, from the Latin, derived from French. It means an act or instance of saying or pleading in protest or opposition. Remonstrance. R E M O N S T R A N C E. Remonstrance. That is correct. Number 16, ascetic. This word has a homonym. Your word is ascetic. The definition is self-denying or austere. Ascetic, A-S-C-E-T-I-C, -E ascetic. That is correct. Number 18, syncope. Can you repeat the word? Syncope. Can you say the word again? Syncope. Syncope? Mm -hmm. S-Y-N-C-O-P-E. That is correct. Churlish. Churlish, C H U R L I S H. Churlish. That is correct. Number 16. Pirouetted. Pirouetted, P I R O U E T T E D. Pirouetted. That is correct. Number 18, Cotswold. Cotswold, C-O-T-S-W-O-L-D, Cotswold. That is correct. Okay. Number four, 
Cayenne. Cayenne. C A Y E N N E. Cayenne. Correct. Number 16. Decrepitude. Decrepitude. D E C R E P I T U D E decrepitude. That is correct. Number eighteen. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. P T E R O D A C T Y L. Pterodactyl. That is correct. Ebulence. Ebulence. E B U L L I E N C E. Ebulence. That is correct. Number 16. Crustaceans. Crustaceans. C R U S T. A C E A N S crustaceans. That is correct. Your word is mandrel. This word has a homonym. This word consists of an originally English part plus a part that is probably from the native name in West Africa. A large, fierce baboon of Western Africa with a male having blue ridges on each side of a red bridged nose. Mandrill. Mandrill. M-A-N-D-R-I-L-L. -L. Mandrill. Good. Reveille. This can be confused with a similar word. Your word is reveille. It's originally Latin, and the word went through French before becoming English. A soldier usually sounded by bugle. A signal usually sounded by a bugle at about sunrise, summoning soldiers and sailors to the day's duties. Reveille. Reveille. R E V E I L L E. Reveille. That is correct. Number 16. Huguenot. Hubinot, H-U-B-I-N-O-T, Hubinot. Uh, that's incorrect. H-U-G-U-E-N-O-T, but stay up here because you are definitely third place. So you're a winner. So don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, number 18. Promulgate. Can you say the word again? Promulgate. Promulgate? Mm hmm. P R O M U L G A T E. Promulgate. That is correct. When the competition is between the two finalists, when a round results in only two spellers who have correctly spelled their words, they will be declared the two finalists. When one finalist misses a word, the other finalist will spell the next word on the caller's list. If the contestant spells that word and the next word on the list correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If he or she misspells either of those two words, the other finalist will be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. If the finalist spells the next word and the, ne and the next word after that correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If both finalists misspell their word, both shall continue the B, and the one who first misspelled his or her word shall be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. Objecting. 
When only two spellers remain, an objection must be made immediately before the second speller has started, spelling the word given him or her. No objection shall be entertained after the second speller has started spelling the word or after the competition is terminated. The judges and the uh, Georgia Association of Educators Spelling Bee Committee are in complete control of the bee and their decisions shall be final on all matters. Patronymic. Patronymic. May you repeat the word, please? Patronymic. Patronymic. P A T R O N Y M I C. Patronymic. That is correct. Takata. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is Takata. It's originally imitative in origin, passed from Latin to Italian. It, it means a brilliant musical composition, usually for the pipe organ or harpsichord, in free fantasia style, and usually with many equal timed notes in rapid movement. Takata. Takata. T O C C A T A Takata. That is correct. Walla. This word has a homonym. The word is walla. The part of speech is noun. It was originally Sanskrit to Hindi to English. It means a person who is associated with a particular type of work or per, who performs a specific duty or service. Walla, W-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Walla. Good. Epsidistra. Can you say the word again? Yes. Okay, I'm getting input. Apsdistra. Apsdistra? Mm -hmm. A S P I D I S T R A. That's correct. Off A. The word is from the French. Off A. Off A. A U F A I T. Off A. That is correct. Gendarme. The word is from the French. Gendarme. Gendarme. G E N D A R M E, gendarme. That is correct. You guys are wearing us out. We're trying to find words. <laughs> Pasteurize. Pasteurize. <clears throat> May I have a definition, please? Yes. Uh, subject to partial sterilization of a substance at a temperature and for a length of time that does not greatly change the chemical composition, but does destroy organisms and other and undesirable bacteria. Pasteurize, P-A-S-T-E-U-R-I-Z-E, -E, pasteurize. That is correct. Number 18, didactic. May you repeat the word? Yes, didactic. Didactic? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, can you repeat the word again? Didactic. D-I-D-A-C-T-I-C. -I -I that is correct. Regime. Regime. R-E-G-I. M E regime. That is correct. Number 18. There is a near homonym. Your word is cynical. It is a word from the Greek that went to Latin and then French. It is an adjective. It means exhibiting feelings ranging uh, from distrustful doubt to contemptuous and mocking disbelief. Cynical. 
cynical. S I N I C L E cynical. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. But you need to stay up, and now you need to spell cynical. Don't the rules say he has to spell that word? Go back and look at the word. Oh, you have to do two words fall. Okay. Okay, so, okay. Your word is finesse. Finesse. F E N N E C. Finesse. Okay, that's also incorrect. So we're even, Stephen, again. 18. 264. Oh, thank you. Cilantro. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. S A L O N T R O. Cilantro. That is incorrect. You ready? Yes. Okay. Amicable. May you repeat the word, please? Amicable. Amicable. A M E C A B L E. Amicable. That is incorrect. A M I C A B L E. Gingham. Can you repeat the word? Gingham. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Gingham. Gingham? Gingham. Gingham. Oh, not really. Gingham. Um, G E A N G U M. That's incorrect. G I N G H A M. Egalitarian. May you repeat the word? Egalitarian. Egalitarian. E G A L I T E O. Oh, sorry. Boulevard. What was the word? Boulevard. Boulevard? Mm hmm. I'm sorry, can you repeat the word? Boulevard yes. or boulevard? What did you ask? No, it's not. What did she ask? Boulevard. B O U L E V A R D. That is incorrect. It's Boulevard. B O L I V A R. Marzipan. May you repeat the word, please? Marzipan. Marzipan. M A R Z I P A N. Marzipan. That is correct. <laughs> Arachnid. May I have a definition? Yes. Uh, one of the large class of anthropods, including scorpions, spiders, and mites. Arachnid. A R A C H N I D. Arachnid. That is correct. This is the most rounds that we've gone since I've been doing the spelling bee. This is incredible. All of these students did a wonderful job. <laughs> we are going to um, call up these three winners by name and school, and Dr. Prince is going to help me in a moment give them awards.
but I know once I do that, everything's gonna fall apart. So I just wanna say a couple more quick thank yous. Thanks to all of you for hanging in here for the whole spelling bee. Um, and it's, it's worth it, right, <laughs> to see the end. A special thank you to our judges. I know it's hard to sit there and not have control over what's happening with your child. I know that's hard. This is hard too. Let's give these guys a round of applause. We all love kids. Nobody wants to see anybody get out or be treated. It's, it's, it's a tough job being, being the judge and I really appreciate the folks behind me. So Dr. Fritz, if you could come up. And uh, what I'll do is I will give Dr. Pritz the award and call up the student and then he will award you with your trophy and you'll also get an envelope with a card that explains to you how you can get your trophy engraved. All right. So our um, third place winner who also is the alternate is Aaron Gudger from Chapel Hill Middle School. So he's the alternate for the next level. So, yeah. And hang around afterwards, Aaron, because we have paperwork and things for you. All right. And our the runner up to our B, who is also eligible to participate at the next level, because we can send two participants, um, is Miss Lena Bowers from Turner Middle School. That's what they were talking about up there. Oh, it is some harder words. <laughs> and then um, finally, our spelling bee champion, moving on to the next round, Mr. Samuel White from Holly Springs Elementary School. Yeah. 